Hi, I am Kristen Kerr, and this morning I built an interactive chatbot interface using Gradio, OpenAI, Wikipedia, and Langchain. Really, I've been hearing so much about Langchain, and I wanted the opportunity to play with it myself and just wrap my head around what the benefits of it were. So, this is really the Hello World example, and we're just going to dive right in and I'll, I'll tell you about what I did here. So we are just making a chatbot where I'm able to enter a question and get a response returned and we're able to customize the chatbot by adjusting the temperature, which is just a number that is going to make it uh, more deterministic or random. So if the temperature is set to zero, you're gonna get a much more deterministic answer. And then the model name. So here we're using GPT 3.5, but we could use a different model and it doesn't necessarily need to be an open AI model. Okay, so first of course, I am going to pip install the libraries I need and then I am going to uh, import the necessary dependencies. And so here, this is one line that I found to be really cool. Once we get our app up and running, um, this is going to give us the verbose thought process. So it's basically going to be saying something like, you know, hey, I am going to need to go to Wikipedia to get, to get this answer. And then once I get that answer, if it was something like, um, you know, I want Justin Bieber's age times four, it'd be like, okay, I need to go to Wikipedia and get Justin Bieber's age. And then after I do that, I'm gonna go and use my math tool and I'm gonna go and multiply that by four. And Langchain, what I've learned, is sort of the piece that allows um, the connection of, you know, one model or another model to any number of cool tools and it will sequentially decide which tool it needs to use and in which order to get you the answer that you need. Um, and so here, basically, um, you don't need to worry about my API key. I've already deleted it, but you are going to set your API key here. I'll make sure that you have a link to my collab. So if you want to just plug in your own API key, you'd be able to go through, run this code and get your chatbot running. Um, and I don't know if I already said it before, but I plan on running, uh, creating a much cooler project than this, but I also thought that uh, just this right here was worth sharing. And so when you go and set up an account with OpenAI, you do get $5 um, worth of queries when you sign up, so you can play with it for free for quite a bit. It's Each query is not that expensive. Um, and so here I'm setting myself up so that I can use Wikipedia um, and so it may use the large language model itself, which is sort of the brains, or it may decide that it needs to use Wikipedia, and that is a decision that Langchain is going to make. And then we're also going to set it up so that we have memory for our prompts, just, you know, so if I want to ask questions uh, in succession, if I ask something, my second question relates to the first question, it won't be like, what do you mean? Um, there'll be some memory about what I ask. So first, we are just going to make our connection to ChatGPT. Um, then we're going to load our tools. So like I said, we could have more tools, but here I'm just using Wikipedia. Um, here we are setting it up so that we will have memory. This line right here, I just took straight from the docs. Um, and here we are initializing the agent for conversation using the tools that we just loaded. So we've got our tools, our chat, our agent, our memory. And so now that's set up. And then it's set up so that we can ask it questions. And then this next function is going to call the agent and get a response based on the question that we asked. So that's right here. 
And then here is the lines of the uh, Gradio app, which you'll see actually isn't that involved. So I'm putting a header. It's the data moves me chatbot. Um, this is just, you know, what's the question that you're asking. It's a text box that's taking your input. We have another text box where the response is going to go. So here you go, champ. We need to obviously put a button so that we can enter the question, press a button and get our answer. And then here we are launching our app. So now I feel like I sort of have the um, beginner's idea about exactly what this is doing. So we can run all of this code. Okay, and here is my app. And if I ask it, what is... I don't even know if I spelled Bieber correctly. Um, right, so this is the verbose piece. And you can see it's sort of running you through the thought process of how it is doing this for you. And here in the chat bot, in the here you go champ response section, we have Justin Bieber was born on March 1st, 1994, which makes him currently 27 years old. And then of course, since this is a web app, we could also ask here. However, this is not going to show you This is not going to have that verbose piece. All right, awesome. And so I had a ton of fun making this. Um, I will certainly leave it in the comments or in the description so that you're able to just switch out the API key and make the names on the web app look like how you want and start to build that out more. I know I'm going to work on a cooler use case and I hope to get back to you soon with something cool and I hope that this was useful.